Calling all captains, we have a sectional semifinal match at Nequa Valley. The Wildcats hold the one seed and look to get back to the championship game, and they take on Matia Valley, who is coming off a 12-6 win over St. Charles East. First quarter, Aniqua up 1-0, and it's now 2-0 after Ryan Cercello slams that ball into the back of the net. Here comes Cercello again, this time from long distance. No matter where he is, that ball will always find its way home for the point. It's 3-0 home team. Second quarter, and do you remember Jimmy Sinise? He was a swimmer, but now he plays water polo and, well, he's extending an equal lead to 5-0. Austin Olsen, come on down. No, you're not on the prices right, but you are right about scoring a goal. Four on the night for Olsen, it's 8-0 blue and goal. And that goal fest is continuing for Nequa. Everybody getting a goal, including Chris Contrill. It puts a bouncer in, it's 10-zip Nequa. And for Matia Valley, it's just a matter of getting down the scoreboard. Ben Vosmick has the ball, and his nice floater has just enough juice to get the goose egg off the board. Nick was still up 11-1. Just before the half, Tyler Leslie throws a rocket shot to pump up his Mustang teammates before intermission. Nick was still with the big lead, though, but what a goal from Leslie. Third quarter, and let's say hello to freshman Gino Valente. And he can score as well. He puts his new team up 14-2. Now 15 for Nequa, and here come the Mustangs. More specifically, here comes Tyler Leslie, who sneaks in the goal, and the Mustangs now down by 10, 15 to 5. Mustangs back with the ball, and here's Jack Damhorst, who also puts a floater back there for the goal. And Nequa's lead is down to single digits. It's 15 to 6. Moving to the fourth, and here's Leslie again. He may be fooled by the angle, but oh my, that's a goal, and it's down to a 15 7 Nequa lead. However, it's just too much Nequa early in this one. Jacob Duncan puts the game away with this goal, and the Wildcats run away with a 17-9 win, setting up a Saturday date with Naperville Central. We actually lucked out a lot getting the number one seed, having the uh, home pool all the time, and so it's really been nice having a lot of our fans at the uh, games. We were using this game more to prepare for the championship, so we, we definitely tried to slow things down and work out, our, work out the kinks in our offense. But... Um, we're really proud of how we work today, and we're really excited for tomorrow. I liked how we just came together, played as a team, communicated, and just dominated, destroyed. And I think we can work on like just playing better, like passing the ball more, and yeah, that's really it. I think it was a good game. We came out of the gates a little slow, but it was a great start, or it was a great finish, and I think we just need to come out a little faster tomorrow and we'll be good. I'm really happy we got spectators in the stands for these games and I'm just really happy we had the chance to play. It might have been a shortened season, but I'm just really happy we're here. I feel like this season was really about um, never giving up. We lost a lot of games that we didn't want to lose and especially here we were behind and we didn't give up and we ended up getting closer than it was and I'm just really proud of us. You know, it's a great sport, it's a great group of guys. You know, uh, you know I, I, I love getting in the pool. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's just a fun time to, to be in and a very competitive sport, so 